best gear is the gear you have on you. What is up guys? Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another quick little unboxing for you. In uh, this one, I actually know what's in here and um, we're revisiting something uh, that I did a video on before and um, yeah. So I don't know if you guys saw it before I did a video on the Swiss Tech Listig and it's their Swiss Army knife version. It's like a small sort of Swiss Army knife type knife uh, and I got one on clearance at Walmart and I broke it while I was doing the testing. So <laughs> I, uh, I reached out to Swiss Tech and they actually sent me another one out to try out. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Got our uh, unboxing buddy, the Demco Armager 2, of course. Hope everybody's having a great day today. There it is, the Swiss Tech Listig. Cool, cool. So, let's see. I put it away too soon, didn't I? Y'all, y'all. Oh, <laughs> how, did I screw, how did I screw that up that bad? <laughs> Just slides in. <laughs> oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that was hmm. Hope that's the hopefully that's the biggest fail in this video. Yeah. So it looks uh I gotta say it looks just like the other one. Where'd that little screw come from? Yeah, it looks almost identical to the other one that I had so guys I don't know if you remember before I did an unboxing on the Swiss Tech Listig and I used it um, the scissors I used them to cut just some light ca cardboard and they they like popped right off the hinge um, this looks a little bit better done like that pivots a little better done but I'm not, you know, I don't know 100% for sure. Um, hold on just a second and we'll check that out again. Okay, guys, so uh, here we go. It's the moment of truth. Man, I really hope these don't break. Please don't break. Hey. Oh, those, these are a lot better. Yep. So yeah, I don't know if you guys saw the first video, but the first time I had gotten the Swiss Tech Listig, I got it, you know, like I said, I got it on clearance at Walmart. I brought it home. I was so excited to do an unboxing because I thought, man, if you got a Swiss Army knife that is this inexpensive, I think they're like 19 bucks, um, and they come with G10 scales, like a lot of really cool features. It's got a good, actual good usable file on it with a nice flathead screwdriver tip there good little sharp um, I mean I guess it's sharp I, I've never I, I never tried the blade so um, yeah it's very sharp just goes right through that um, but yeah I was so impressed with it when I first took it out of the box and I really didn't even get to take much of a look at it because it broke on the first piece of cardboard that I cut and so I reached out to Swiss Tech and I was like, hey guys, I, I don't know if there's maybe an issue going on with these. If you've, you know, if you've had a problem with these in the past, um, I told them about the issue that mine had and they said, you know, um, we'll get one right out to you, you know, um, that that shouldn't have happened, you know, and I, and I agreed 100%. And um, so they sent me one out and uh, this one works perfectly. And the guy that I talked to over there, um, he did mention that they were, they had put some work into upgrading these scissors because they had been an issue with that pivot in the past, which, you know, sometimes you don't know until you put, 
you know, 100,000 units out there where your fail points are going to be. Um, so, you know, you can't really, uh, can't really blame them for that. But guys, this one works absolutely perfect. You just saw me cut, you know, I don't know how many pieces of cardboard. I could still keep going. It doesn't feel like the other one just didn't feel like this one does. This one feels very solid, um, you know, so. Now, the scissors aren't very long, so you're not going to get a big, long cut through there. But, I mean, they're just chewing through this cardboard. No no problems whatsoever. So, you know, again, it happens that, you know, you may buy something and it could be everybody else that's ever got one has had no issues with it. And you could get the one that you have a problem with, you know. To me... <laughs> what will make the difference in those experiences is, is the customer service. And, and in Swiss tech's case, their customer service is fantastic. Um, and through talking to them, I actually found out that I wasn't aware of this, that, um, all of Swiss tech's knives and their multi-tools, this it's all designed in the U S uh, they are actually, uh, all designed in the U S and then they do, use Chinese manufacturing, but it's because of the price point that they're at. They could not make these for this price if they were assembling them and manufacturing them here. Uh, a lot of companies are doing that same thing. So, you know, I, you can't really hate on them. I really like these pliers and I like how they got, um, I don't know if you could see that they have a little beveled edge on them. So it's not like a flat kind of not beveled, but angled there so yeah just like the uh, Swiss Army knife it does come with the comes with your toothpick and it comes with the good set of tweezers I can tell you guys I'm definitely gonna throw this in my pocket I uh, I love the little Swiss Army knives and and like I said when I got the first one of these I really wanted to like it because it just I love the fact that it's got the uh, grippy little g10 scales on it it just feels really really nice you know so um, looks like it'll be durable and uh big shout out to Swiss tech for sending me another one out. I, I'm so happy that uh, I didn't have any issues with it and that the, um, the problem with the scissors seems to be addressed. I, I really wish I had that other set because I think this spring is a little different and I think the pivot is a little different. So. I think they have done some changes to that, which is good. You know, you like to see, um, you know, not just a good cu uh, customer service response, but also a good response as far as, uh, you know, their manufacturing goes and, and addressing issues that they might have with something. So that's super cool. Uh, I've got some more stuff coming in from Swiss Tech uh, that I can't wait to get in. And uh, I've got a couple of their folding knives coming in I want to check out. So I uh, have uh, some unboxings on those coming up pretty soon. But uh, yeah, guys, it seems like to me, the Swiss Tech listing is a good little pocket, little pocket keychain type knife. Um, you know, this is not a long time review. I'm going to carry it for a while and use it and see how it holds up. And I will get back to you guys on that. But, you know, the other one that I got, I couldn't really do a review on it because it, it once the scissors broke, I just thought I... I can't do anything with this. You know, that's one of the main tools on it. It has three blades and one of them is the scissors. So, you know, it's like a, using two thirds of a little tool, but I'm definitely going to drop this one in the pocket or maybe stick it on my keychain. And, uh, because I love having the little small Swiss army knife classic, you know, just the little tiny one. Uh, I, I've had several of those in my life and I, I always, uh, I always end up gravitating back to them. They're just so handy for what, you know, what the tool set that they offer in such a small size. But, uh, yeah, guys, this one seems, seems to be much more sturdy. And like I said, you know, it, you know, you just don't know, you know, they, they, I could have got the one bad one out of a hundred thousand of them. You know, you just, with modern manufacturing practices, you know, they can't put eyes on every single unit that comes through there. It's just not physically possible. And they do quality controls, but a lot of times that probably goes by lot or by kind of like a random, you know, pick out of so many. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's awesome to see them, uh, you know, for one, make it right. And also, too, it looks like they address the issues with the um, 
with the scissors. If I can find my other one, I might compare them and just, you know, just see if they are a little bit different. But anyway, guys, that's about all I've got for you today. I do want to thank you for watching all the way through the video. It means a lot to me. It really does. Uh, if you if you have a second, leave a like on the video down below. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. You know, we are uh, well on our way to a thousand subscribers. We got the big 500 subscriber giveaway that's coming up. Uh, still to be announced, but uh, we got some prizes from Demco. We got some prizes from Charval. I got some stuff coming from Flatanium. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff I'm going to give you guys and uh, just a way of, you know, showing my appreciation. So, anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you've got a listing, if you've had any issues with yours. I would love to hear that. Um, I do have the person that I can get a hold of for you, and maybe we could make that right. So anyway, guys, average gear reviewer, I'm out of here. You're still here. Awesome. Listen, I was supposed to tell you something really important and I have to tell you this. Don't forget to like the video. If you like the content, subscribe down below, hit the subscribe button. Please. I'm stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Please, please. I'm begging you. Please, you gotta let me out of here. Just hit the subscribe button. Did you hit it? Did you hit the... Did you hit... It's right down here. Did you hit it? I don't know. I'm still here. Hello? Hello? Did you... Did you hit the subscribe button? Listen. I'm literally stuck here until you hit the subscribe button. Yes, very soon. Listen, please hit the subscribe button. You did? You did hit it? Are you sure you hit it? Let's try it again. Yeah, I don't... I don't know what's wrong. Please, please help me. It's not...